Hello, ako po si Aaron Paul. Welcome to another episode of Songwriting at Iba Pa. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, sana po you will do that or tell your friends to join para naman po may matutunan sila tungkol sa songwriting and it will also help me in our community. Now, today's episode, may nagtanong sa akin, Sir Aaron, meron akong girlfriend and I sort of wanted to surprise her with a love song. Kaso, I don't know how to write a love song. Paano ba ang tips ninyo? What can you give me as a tip uh, to help me do that? Well, sabi ko sa kanya, if you can write a love letter, which I'm pretty sure he does, you can write a love song. And let me tell you why that is. Di ba ang love letter is nothing more than your thoughts, your emotions put into words. And what is a love song? It's that. It's your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings mo put into words and into music. So sabi ko sa kanya, try this, okay? Let's practice writing love letters and then picking out the good stuff in your letters and putting that into the verses. Now let's talk about love letters. There are usually about four kinds. You know, first one is the introduction letter, the introductory Two, the proposal letter. Three, the gratitude. That's the everyday letter. And fourth, the breakup. So in the introduction love letter, yun yung first time kang nag introduce to the person that you have an interest with, di ba? We write letters introducing ourselves, admitting or revealing our emotions to that person. Nagkakakrash ako sa'yo, naiinlove ako sa'yo, uh, nagkakagusto, whatever words you choose, but that's the introductory letter. So, yan yung first kind of love letter. The second one, yung proposal, usually ito na yung after maybe you've written several letters to that person, you're trying to seal the deal. You tell her why she should choose you, ano ba ang mga katangian mo na dapat uh, na magkustuhan niya, and why she should make you her boyfriend. You make promises. Uh, you tell her about your plans, your dreams for her, what you can do for her. All of that is in the proposal love letter. The third one, yung gratitude love letter, yun yung pag, let's say, nagkaroon na kina relationship, and ito yung love letters na pinadadal mo sa kanya, telling her uh, how happy you are whenever the two of you are together, nakikwentuhan kayo about the things that you did and what made you happy about that. You're describing what makes you happy? The things about her, yung book niya, yung ngiti niya, yung mata, yung labi. Things that she does that makes you so happy and makes you love her more. You miss her when she's not with you. These are the kinds of things that tiba, that you write in a love letter. And fourth, the breakup letter. Ito yung masakit. Uh, usually, the pre-breakup, yun yung napapansin mo na na parang hindi na rin nagkakasundo. You're almost feeling na magkakahiwalay kaya, but you kayo, but you're trying to do your best uh, not to have that happen. So you're telling her, what can I do to make it right? And you start talking about it. And then, the, of course, the final breakup letter. This is yung nagkahiwalay kayo, and you regret having that happen. And you tell her that you made a mistake and you want to get back together, what can we do to fix it? What can we do to bring the love back? So all of this that I've described to you, ito yung mga emotions, the words, the feelings that you put in your love letters. So diba in a love song, that's what it is. You're telling the person in a love song exactly all of this that I've just described to you. So if you're a songwriter and you're new to this, Here's what I'd like you to do. Create a love letter. Mamili ka na. It doesn't matter. Mamili ka among the four that you like. Kunyari, mag-shota na kayo. Kunyari, mag ka. Mamili ka na ng subject na gusto mo. Write a love uh, letter. Make it as descriptive as possible. Kamagalala, habaan mo if you want. But the more descriptions you put in there, because that's what's important in a love song, is yung description. Be Detailed. Sulat mo talaga. Pour out your emotions. Sulat mo lahat ng nararamdaman mo into, into words. And after you've done that, you take a look. You will find. And this is what a lot of love letters 
have. May mga one or two lines there that you've said that will hit you and it will resonate to a point na ba maganda pa lang gawing love song yan. So you pick that and you add music to it. And trust me, if you become sincere, real, detailed in all of the emotions you put into that love letter and you pick the ones na talagang alam mo yung uh, maka, ano, talagang tatab, ano, tatablan yung puso na nakikinig, I'm sure you have a hit. Kasi that's all it is really. When I write love songs, I try to pick out words that nobody's ever really heard said before para pag narinig ng tao ba, I've never heard a song like that before, but this one, he said it straight. Pick those words. Make your song unique, and you will find that people will relate to that. Marami dyan na they go through the, about the same thing that you're going through, but they just haven't heard it in a love song. And in true to fact, kaya nga hanggang ngayon marami pang love songs, because exactly that, marami pa dyan na hindi pa niya nasusulat. And somebody out there is going to like what you've written. Somebody's going to relate to what you have just written and say, that's me. Yan ang nangyayari sa akin. I like that song. I'm going, to, I'm going to buy that song or I'm going to sing that song. When you do that and you affect people, now there is this connection. That's all you have to do is make that connection with the person that's listening to your song. And when that happens, you become a name that they will listen to all the time. I want to listen to what he's saying this time. Diba? That's what happened to me. All I did really was write songs about my emotions, my feelings, things that I heard happen to people. I just put it into words. And before I knew it, other people were relating to it. And they became popular and along with that they got to know my name and i want that to happen to you gusto ko makilala ka rin because one day if you just keep doing what you're doing and you put your heart and dedication into songwriting you also will become a popular songwriter and lastly wag mong kalilimutan yung skill mo yung talent mo in songwriting came from god don't ever forget to say thank you, Lord. Salamat sa nabigay mo sa aking regalo. I will, I will make sure that I will practice every day and make myself better. Because I want to use the gift that you gave me. And it's such a beautiful gift that will help other people with their emotions. And when you do that, you will be rewarded. I promise you. So that's it for now with songwriting at Iba Pa. Uh, I'll try to get more videos out in the future and I promise I will try to help you as a new songwriter. If you're already a veteran, then go ahead and I hope some way uh, I've said something na hindi mo pa narinig before and it will help you. But if you're a veteran and you have other people out there na nangangailangan tulong, please help them. You remember where you and I came from, di ba? Ang hirap na nag tayo. So it's our turn to give back. For now, don't forget, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for the gift. Be kind to one another. Pray all the time. Bye-bye.